story now. We've got Mike Moringa who's following that story for us about uh, um, the arrest and uh, also the uh, 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 capturing of the suspects in this cash and transit heist that we broke yesterday. Um, Mike, before you were, uh, left us a little bit earlier, the question I was asking you, any news about the cash? Has the cash been recovered? We never seem to hear what happens to the money, if it's been recovered, and some of the amounts that we are dealing with here. Good morning again, Leanne. Uh, when we spoke to the police captain earlier on, he uh, indicated that the, the, the van had about 10 million rand. He, is, he hasn't said anything about the money, if it was recovered or not. What he, what he indicated to us is that explosives were found. And as you can see behind me, I've got about two suspects. The, the suspects were found at, in, in, in this house and the vehicles that were used to commit uh, the, the crime yesterday. Two of them are here, they are behind me. You can even see the Hawks detectives are still uh, busy working, working on this case. So uh, I think the money issue is something that might be discussed at the later stage, but he has confirmed that when the van was attacked, it, had, it was transporting about 10 million rand. All right. Um, uh, Mike, so I, I suppose the, the, the question on many people's left, I mean, 10 million rand in those vans is a very, very big uh, a sum of money. And yet no word on whether or not that has been recovered. So we're hoping something will happen. Well, right behind you, we can actually see one of the suspects there now, the, uh, um, uh, somebody, an official taking them away. And uh, uh, how many have been arrested there, Mike? Yeah, so far the information we are getting is that uh, about seven people have been uh, arrested, seven suspects have been arrested, and four of them were nabbed last night, and the three were arrested this morning. Uh, we are told that the four that were arrested last night are the ones who led the investigators into this house where the vehicles that were used are parked. Uh, the police uh, captain has indicated to us that... Uh, the, uh, one of the vehicles here has got bullet holes. There's, there's got bu bullet holes. They found cartridges. They found explosives. So it looks like they are quite sure that these are the vehicles that that were used yesterday. I think the money issue again. Maybe it could be uh, their investigation uh, method. It's something that they are not going to reveal now. But hopefully, when um, the the suspects appear in court as from tomorrow. That is part of the information that is likely to come out. And also, I also posed a question to him about the seven, seven suspects, if they are uh, uh, all the people who were involved in that heist. And he said their investigation is continuing. And at this stage, he cannot link them to any other crimes that were experienced in the country. I'm talking about heists in, in particular. So also, we'll also be following the Hawks today. Uh, to see if whether they will be going to any other house to effect more arrest. And I must also indicate that in a in, in few minutes from now, they have got their truck that is parked just outside this house. Um, these cars will be uh, towed away. They are just waiting for someone who has the keys to these um, vehicles. As soon as uh, that person arrives, these cars will be taken away into the, into the police uh, 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 area where it will be, because surely you know that it will, it will be used as part of um, exhibit. So we'll, we'll stick around for, for 30 minutes or so to see what transpires, and from there, if the story develops, uh, we, we, we will definitely uh, take it on and give it to our viewers. All right. Mike, thank you very, very much. We'll certainly be in touch with Mike uh, again here as he follows the Hawks this morning in this cash and transit that took place yesterday. But remember, this was one of two that actually took place because there was another one that happened in the afternoon uh, in Centurion. And this was where a security officer was actually wounded. It happened uh, um, just uh, south of Pretoria, another cash and transit. It's just becoming out of control. I'm not sure what is happening with these cash and transit heists. I think it's something we need to look into very, very seriously. Uh, but what we are looking into in just a couple of minutes time after